Here's a demonstration video to um, illustrate the functionality of Rick, uh, what's his name, Ruskin's 435T that he sold me on eBay back on April uh, 416, 17, I believe it was. We're returning this mic to him because it's uh, faulty in a couple of ways. It's uh, got a dent in the grill and it's uh, wired out of phase and it won't work with standard T power. Um, Currently, I'm going to put this mic in the box, uh, but before I do, I'm going to show that it works. It's 10.49 a.m. on Thursday, April 27th, so now we're going to um, plug in Rick's mic into Phantom Power. He's concerned that that damages mics, and I'm not sure where that concern comes from because um, in my business, we plug mics into Phantom Power every day. Um, it if it damaged the mic, there'd be piles of broken microphones at Sennheiser's door and at Neumann's door. Um, you can plug a condenser microphone into a hot input. Uh, I don't know where you got that. Here's a barrel adapter to change 48 volt phantom into 12 volt T power. Currently, uh, there's other options for that. Here is a standalone box that will power a T power microphone. Of course, with Rick's, you need a barrel adapter to make it work that changes the phase, but these are battery powered, uh, changing uh, um, or applying 12 volt T power to um, whatever mic you want to power. Here's another example. We're currently using the PSC um, T power uh, power supply that's powering this MKH 406 mic. I'll try to go fast here so as not to waste too much of your time. We've got the um, T-Power barrel plugged in. We need to apply a phase reversal barrel for Rick's mic to work. And then we'll finally plug in Rick's mic. So this is what you've got to make this microphone work. I'll bring up the audio on channel two and now we're listening to Rick's mic. You also can't hurt a microphone by tapping it, Rick. Again, um, if they broke that easy, uh, recordists wouldn't be able to use them very far before uh, having to send them in for repair. So here's your microphone. It's working. Uh, we'll compare it to a 416. These are very similar microphones in that they use the exact same amplifier. Uh, they use a very similar capsule. The uh, cardioid principle is just different. This is an interference tube and you've got a hypercardioid here. So <clears throat> we're listening to the 435 right now. I'll turn it down. And now we're listening to the 416 um, and that's on input three. And then we'll go back to Rick's 435. Now we're listening to Rick's 435. I think if I brought them both up with equal gain, they'd probably be out of phase. You can probably hear there's a point in there where they fall out of phase because Rick's mic is wired improperly internally and is out of phase. So going back to the 435, it's working. It's as you sent it to me. It's got uh, the dent that was uh, there when you claimed it wasn't when I asked you about it on the auction. And uh, very same mic. So it's coming back to you right now. Thanks very much.